Buck, uh, what the hell's going on over there at the Titan facility? <laughs> Well, uh, it's a bit of a shit show. Good evening, boys. I hope everybody's having a great time. Uh, yeah, the Tennessee Titans traded away A.J. Brown this evening. I'm sure that that's news to everybody who's been back there talking about it. And, uh, apologies that it took me so long to uh, to get down here. But, yeah, it's been, uh, it's been a bit of a mess, I would say. All right, so take us inside because we can see behind you. I haven't seen it yet in person. I, I plan on going tomorrow. But the Titans' brand new facility, their building that they've added onto you guys in the media area. What was it? What was the reaction like around the Titans media group when the trade of AJ Brown came down? How did everybody react? Because uh, I'm sure it was uh, very interesting and a lot of pounding of keyboards as well. You want the FCC safe version, or you want the real version? Uh, you can give us. Uh, you know, you don't have to go FCC, but let's just not go full <laughs> F stuff. I can't can give you the real versions uh, because that was the reaction in the room. I mean, largely, you know, they they have now because they've traded out of twenty six. Obviously, the New York Jets yeah. uh, picked up their draft pick, and they have now they have now acquired ten picks, including Traylon Burke. So they have a total of ten picks. They're plus three on the evening with the trade away of AJ, AJ Brown. But yeah, basically WTF. Um, uh, what- all right. So we're getting a lot of people who say they want the real. Okay. Um, so if you give the real, you have to name names of the mouths they came out of. Um, every one of us. And I'll go on the row. <laughs> Emily Proud, Ben Arthur, Luke Worsham, me, Teresa Walker, David Beauclair, Paul Kaharski, John Glennon, and Terry McCormick showed up about an hour and a half late. <laughs> like that was the reaction. What the fuck are they doing? Um, with the did, uh, did Luke Worsham cuss? No, um, he looked very. <laughs> he, he, I think, I think he said a dag nabbit, and then we, <laughs> we, had, we had very soon after get on a uh, a Zoom call with Traylon Burks, who is now walking into a shitstorm because you know for the kid whose draft comp was AJ Brown, he did not understand how real that was about to be, given that he is now their replacement. So John Robinson and Mike Vrabel are going to meet with us as soon as the first round concludes, and uh, I'm going to uh, be in that press conference with uh, a great many questions, as are many of us, but. You know, $25 million exceeded their price point. And whether that is justifiable or not to you for the most talented wide uh, wide receiver in the history of the Tennessee Titans franchise, uh, maybe not the most accomplished um, or maybe not the most, you know, the best career because he wasn't here long enough. um, But without question, the most talented player at that position that this organization has ever had. Yeah, crazy stuff. Buck Rising joining us from the Titans facility here on A to Z Sports Draft Special presented by HelloFresh. Uh, so Buck, you know, what, what are your, th- what was it like talking to trail on Burks? Right. Because you guys were on that conference call. I did see a few tweets about how he didn't realize that AJ Brown was traded basically for him. Uh, yeah. what was that conversation like with Burks on the phone? Um, he started off, you know, they, they asked him what, uh, basically, uh, what do you think about getting traded to, or getting drafted by the Tennessee Titans? And he said, you know, my high school football coach told me that they were going to take me this morning and I didn't believe him. And when the phone rang, I saw that it was a Tennessee number and I got really excited. And it wasn't until after he hung up the phone and was scrolling through Instagram that he saw that his new teammate, um, you know, was no longer going to be his teammate, was going to be actually playing uh, against the Tennessee Titans. The Philadelphia Eagles will face the Tennessee Titans in 2022. So something Ooh. to keep in mind as far as that is concerned. Um, he he. It, it was funny because there was a moment he was talking about like what an honor it is to be compared to AJ and what an honor it would have been to uh, play with AJ and I had to ask him Traylon do you know that he's been traded and he was like yes sir I found out afterwards so um, once we got through the fact that you know I'm at the point in my life where people are calling me sir and it makes me very uncomfortable um, <laughs> there was a uh, there was a there was a you know an ongoing it, it resumed general conversation he doesn't feel any additional pressure he's not taking any of the comparisons you know he's one of one the thing that you say if you're a professional athlete now a professional athlete in a circumstance like this, although this is not a circumstance with much precedent. I mean, Stefan Diggs is the last big name wide receiver traded that's worked out in a meaningful way for both the team that traded him because they ended up with Justin Jefferson and for the team that acquired uh, the talented wide receiver in the Buffalo Bills. So other than that, there's not a lot of precedent for this working out well for the team who lets go of the proven commodity, especially for a bit of a lottery ticket and a trade out at 26. Yeah. So now it's just a uh, hope that. Traylon Burks is Justin Jefferson. 
Yeah, yeah. It's a, yeah. Listen, he's. It's not. It's not just. Pre- it's a tremendous amount of pressure on John Robinson. Who yeah. I mean, whatever you think of this, holy, holy stones, like Jesus Christ. As far as you got to be super secure, and I know he just got an extension. Him and Mike Vrabel both this off season. Uh, I know they just got an extension, so you got to be really, really secure in your position to make a move like that. <laughs> yeah. 